I got one of my Fanuc motors running today using EMC2 and Andy's BLDC library. Uh, so this is going to be a quick demonstration of that. So what I've got on the bench here is a computer running EMC2, uh, a 30 volt power supply to unlock the brake on the motor. The black box above it is uh, a high voltage power supply that I have running at about 130 volts to power the drive for the motor. And then I've got a bunch of wires and terminal blocks. I've got an AMC uh, drive, brushless drive for the motor. And I've got a, a 5 volt power supply back there for the encoder. And then this is a Fanuc 10S motor. So it's going to get loud when I turn everything on. But basically what I've got is this potentiometer here hooked up to the 10-volt the reference that's coming out of the drive. And then I'm using the potentiometer to adjust the voltage, which tells the motor how fast to spin, the drive how fast to spin the motor. And uh, so I'm taking out of the encoder the C1, C2, C4, and C8 signals, uh, taking those into the parallel port of the computer, and then I've set the BLDC component to pattern 9 and pattern 9 or pattern 36 both work with this setup uh, they're the uh, reverse rotation of each other and then the computer sends back out through the parallel ports into the drive the calculated hall signals which uh, lets the drive run the motor so if you pick the wrong pattern, the drive faults, uh, the little red light turns on and it doesn't work right. Okay, so here we go. So first turn on the brake power supply. And now we can turn it. Uh, next turn on 5 volt supply. And now turn on the motor controller power supply. Okay. And here we go. So one thing I'm not sure about is that it's not really locked up. I think that's because of how I have the drive set up, but I'm not sure about that. Anyway, now I'm going to try and read the RPM off the motor. I've got a piece of black tape with a shiny mark on it there for that.